All right, guys, um, injuries. We had Raheem um, with a knee, didn't return. Um, Greenlaw, groin, um, didn't return. And Verrett, knee, also didn't return. Go ahead. We worry it is, yes. We'll, we gotta get the, we'll get the imaging when we get to um, West Virginia tonight. Oh, it's crushing. I mean, I'm pr hoping for the um, best, but um, it's crushing. You know, we know the bad luck he's had and putting together these last two years, staying healthy, how good of a camp he had. Um, you know, got a lot of love for JV and respect him as much as anyone I've ever been around. So I really hurt for him. Um, I think a little bit. I mean, I, I think I did too. You know, anytime you give a team a chance to get back in the game like that, you know, it starts with me. But um, when that happened in JV, I think about a seven minute mark. I uh, think, and I know I came, became too concerned with protecting our guys as, a, as opposed to doing whatever you take, got to do to win. And what you got to do to win is play every single down, like it's the last down the whole game. And um, got a little caught up in that when we lost JV, but um, unfortunately, we were able to pull it out. You take guys out when you think the game's out of hand. Um, and I didn't think it was out of hand, even though it might look like that. You know, I've been around enough football and seen that how quick it could change. Um, when we did lose JV, then it became at the forefront of my mind. And um, that's a good reminder why you can't do that. No, play calling doesn't change. No, just getting some guys out who are starters. And um, when you take, when you don't put your best guys out there and you substitute them um, for any other reason besides um, a scheme thing, um, it means you're trying to protect people and that's what you're focused on, which you can't always do. Um, I mean, he'll get images when we get there tonight. You know, they, they told me they're not worried about it being an ACL, so that, that's obviously real good news, but that's about all we know now. Um, just kind of what we've been saying all the t oh Trey Sermon sorry um, uh, we just went with our you know we only dressed three backs and you always try to do four um, but those were the three after going through training camp and stuff that we felt were the three we were going to go with. I thought he did a real good job. I mean that's kind of what, was, um, what we expected him to do. And um, but it's always tough in your first game and stuff. And uh, he went in there and didn't hesitate and uh, ran the ball well. No, yeah, I don't know why. I mean, we rotate everybody. I mean, with the ones, twos, and threes throughout camp and stuff. So, I mean, nothing is ever firm, to tell you the truth. But. Yeah, they, you know, they got out to a fast start. It was huge stopping on that fourth and one. Um, you know, then the big one with us fumbling on our first play and them still stopping them there, that was huge. Um, but they got too many explosives on some runs that looked like up the middle. Um, got a couple explosives in the past game, but, um, you know, got to go back to work here in a couple of days. Uh, I think, I mean, it's a combination of the both. I mean, you, you want everyone to, you don't want to lose anything when you get out, but you're also playing a little bit more of a bend but don't break defense. So that's what changes where you're not blitzing as much and trying to give up as many explosives, which it's frustrating because you know you're going to give up some yards, maybe some points, uh, but you should be all right. But you got to get the onside kick and uh, you can't fumble it the next time, which gives them a chance and that stuff does happen. So, so that's why we got to be smarter than that. Um, just, uh, we, I mean, we'll always have some stuff in for Trey. I mean, it's the first time, you know, when your number two quarterback has um, a skill set that the number one doesn't um, do in, you know, in terms of being a threat to run. Um, so when you have that, there's always an option of different plays that you can run. So we'll have that up at all times. Um, and he, while Trey's here, while he's the number two, that'll always be an option. Um, but when the, the one ever gets hurt, then you got to open everything up. Yeah, there's no delay games. Um, so I mean, so they did it. It looked 
just like anyone else subbing on and subbing off. So I think they did a good job with it. Yeah, I, I actually didn't think we would do it on the first drive, but you just get you get into some situations, and that's how all play calling is. To tell you the truth, like I mean, you go through every situation and stuff throughout the week over and over again. But um, the field has to do with what you see and trying to react, and I'm just going when when you feel it. Um, nothing. I mean, I, I know he was a starting punt returner. Um, I know we started out, um, we started Trent, which they've been rotating a lot throughout the preseason, but, you know, I've only been back for a week after uh, uh, he tweaked his hamstring, which we wanted to be smart with that. And um, also Trent Sherfield's earned um, the right to be out there more. Well, yeah, I mean, now you kind of gone the last 10 days, you know, with his hamstring and um, Sherfield was pushing him as it was. So, um, you know, you, I, I plan on getting him a lot in, um, rotating both of them um, and playing them, all five guys that were up today. Um, you know, I don't think we, we only had one third down in the first half. Um, you know, we were scoring, I think, pretty fast in that first half. And um, I felt like it was more the opposite in the second half. So I don't know how many plays we ended up having, but so I don't know the numbers there, but I'm sure he had less than expected. No, definitely not. Um, I mean, if, if I would have, you know, if we would have stopped them on that last series, um, or not the last series, when I started to pull some guys on defense, if we would have stopped him there, then I, it would have been the same on offense. Yeah, he would have gone in for the rest of the game. How close was Josh Warren to being able to play in this game? Is he a possibility for a Yeah, I mean, he was definitely ready to go. I mean, Josh was, I mean, he told us. He actually said if we tell him today that he's up, he'll be ready to go. Um, so Josh has been a soldier all week, and I'm real excited to have him here. And um, I know he was ready this week, so um, I expect him to be ready next week also. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I mean, we, we do have the numbers and stuff. I mean, we're always looking at everything every week. Um, still keeping my fingers crossed on Brett, but um, that's something we'll look into here probably tonight, tomorrow, and Tuesday. Uh, I thought that Jimmy played well. Um, you know, I thought he was pretty on. Um, did a really good job. You know, even that last play, you know, we were trying to get a quick throw to Kittle in the flat and um, said if he's not there, you know, a sack's better than incompletion. And he did an awesome job scrambling and then finding Debo, which I thought was going to ice it, but obviously did a good job stripping the ball. Um, but I thought Jimmy played well. Do you think there's a chance for next week? Yeah, I think there's a chance. Yeah. Yeah, we've discussed it, and I've talked to Sherman about it too, and um, Sherman's always a possibility. Say two more. It looked pretty good. Um, you know, I, I w wish I'd have kept him in there in a couple on the, those last two drives. Um, but from what I saw, they looked good. Um, I'll get on the plane here and watch the tape a little bit harder, but um, them being out there affecting the game and um, getting out healthy, I consider a, a success. Um, I mean, he made some big plays, um, you know, did some really good things. Um, but, you know, he's got to hold on to the ball at the end there. And, um, you know, I wanted him and Jimmy to come down with that slant on the third down a couple series before, which I think wouldn't have put our defense out there so long. Um, but it would have been a tough catch, too. But um, I got a lot of respect for Debo, and I expect to make every catch. So, All right, thanks, All right guys. Thanks. Click here to subscribe.